So you can direct your bolts at other targets and it will not be with the, with the wild die. So you'll just roll a normal 10 sided. So where does bolt two want to go? Where do you want to go with bolt two? Bolt uh, it's going to be Fury 12. Okay. Go ahead and roll the 10 sided. All right. Go ahead and roll it again because you got an ace. So that's a 10 plus another 10 sided, which is a 13. 13 a raise. So you're going to hit the, the raise button down there in the lower left hand corner. See that's six sided. It says plus damage. Hit that. And then pick up your damage and then drop it onto the Fury 12. You should be able to pick it up off of your character sheet and drag it onto the token on the... Wow, very nice. That's 21, that's four wounds. That thing is dead. You exploded it. Very nice. All right, so you got one more bolt. You got one more bolt. Where's that last bolt going? Now, can I hit four without hitting odd? Uh, it'll be at a um, a minus two because odd's in the way. All right, let's try it. All right. Uh, that's still going to be a, let's see, an eight minus two. This is going to be a six. So that's still going to be a hit because it's a DC four. So go ahead and roll your 2d6 damage again and drop it onto the, the Fury. All right, very nice. That thing is dead too. Hooray. All right. And I had done. All right. So next fury that is uh, successful. All right, this thing is a uh, berserk still. Let's go ahead and attack Fargus. No, I'm sorry. We'll attack Yacht. Ooh. Oh Jesus. That's a that's a hit with a raise. We'll give Yacht some damage. Oh boy. Oh Jesus. Jesus man. Yacht, you just took five wounds, man. Twenty seven. Yacht, you need to get rid of all of these uh wounds, man. I, I hope you can get rid of some of them. Alright, very nice. That was oh, close. Yeah, that was a raise. That was a, a that was a that was a couple. So you're shaken. You got two wounds, but that's good. At least you didn't stay at five. You got rid of three wounds there because you would have went to incapacitation and started rolling to die and stuff, which is good. All right, so let's go next uh, to the other fury. Oh man, this thing's this thing's on you as well. Let's uh, let's give it a attack oh my god are you kidding me i hit again mm. all right you got any more bennies yes i do let's see if you can uh soak that oh uh, you do not so you got three wounds now and uh if you take another wound you go down in incapacitation. Oh my goodness! All right, yeah, you're up. You get minus three on your attacks, which it'll it'll automatically take the minus three into consideration. So you don't have to put anything in the modifier box. Man, three Is that wounds. Roll for the shaken too, or mm. you? Yeah, you can go ahead and do a a spirit check, and it's only a DC four. So you you should just be able to. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and give me a spirit roll. I think you might be able to hold down control and drop the spirit onto the uh, combat tracker where it says shaken by holding um, down control. Yeah, it does have a bendy. Yeah, or you can use a or you can use a bendy to get rid of that. But I wouldn't waste the bendy. I would I would use the bendy after doing the after doing the spirit check. The uh, yeah, it was a fail. Really so now, yeah, now you can use the Benny. All right, so you are no longer shaken. You are at three wounds. You have no Bennies left. So you're going to attack this thing, I hope. Oh, anybody getting perks out there? Anybody buying these guys Bennies?
All right, so your minus three, seven minus three is a four. That is a miss. What it wouldn't have been a miss if you didn't have the three wounds on you. That's a, that sucks. Yeah, the wounds suck. Yep, it, uh, it definitely does. All right, so Mercy, you're up. You got two wounds also. Yeah, thank you all for killing the other ones around me. I still have one stinking hero assassin. Yeah. Right on my butt. So I can't move. Yeah, kill all the ones around the person that brought it on us. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> she should be downed, whatever. Now, Dave, do I need to draw a, a medium burst, or can I just say I got all three of these guys? No, you can say you got all three of them. Okay. You gonna hit stun? Yeah, I'm gonna try stun these three guys, and then, then hopefully I can move. Okay, didn't Very nice. Oh. So you got a twelve. Oh. So I, I'm gonna be That's at a raise. Okay. minus four on my rolls. Isn't that it? Isn't that how it works? Minus two on a raise. Is it minus two? All right. What was minus four? What was that? Was that about confusion or something like that? Yeah. I don't even yeah, know it was anymore. Mine. I it, yeah, I think on it a single been, target. Yeah. I can't keep up with it all. I've been drinking too much. Have you been drinking? No way. Really. <laughs> This game night, you have to drink. <laughs> okay, let's do a a couple of these are vigor rolls, so let's let's get it going. The one closest to you. Minus two. Yeah. It's compared as well, move. right? Huh? It's it's a uh, roll off, right? Well, no, no. It's a it's target number now, apparently. Yeah. So he's uh he fails. And that one fills. All and that three one of them fills. Fell, so that's good. All right. Well, I want to do at this point then. Like, who has wounds? It's um. You and John. You, know you have two, and Yacht has a couple. Yeah, he's got three. Okay. Well, I can't be too selfish. I'm going to move uh, right behind Yacht. Okay. All right, Godfrey. Top of the round, round four. What's our movement again? Sorry. Uh, your movement, your pace. Your pace yep. So if you have uh, a pace of six, that means that you can move six squares. And if you're moving through one of the squares of blood, that's double movement. So that would cost you two squares to go through that. <laughs> Blood stays ropey. Yeah, they are. They will get you every time. Yeah. Thanks for the follows, guys. Totally All appreciate right, the so follows. And you can move diagonal? You can, yep. One for one. OP. All right. All right, we're going to do bolt at Fury 2. Okay. You using one bolt or are you doing multiple bolts or what? We're gonna do two. Okay. Alright, so the first bolt will have the wild die. Go ahead and do your bolt attack. Oh god. You just had a natural one. Rip. Guess what time it is? Oh, oh, time for me to blow up. Backlash time. It is. It is backlash. And I can't use Benny's for that one, right? If I remember right. Uh, I don't think you can. Not not for that kind of stuff. No, I don't think so. All right. I thought I had my. Magic on there, but I guess I didn't. All right. Backlash. 
may just suffer an effect known as a siphoning. And we need to get a backlash, which is, let's see, a siphoning table. On a roll of one on the arcane skill die, regardless of the wild die, the mage must roll a 2d6. And hold on one second. Let me share this with you. Here is your, this is your siphoning table. So you can go ahead and can you roll on that? Can you click that uh, that dice there? You should be. I think to. so. Yeah. All right. So give it a roll, and we'll see what you, your result is. All right. So you rolled a fifty-four, and you had a slight drain. The mage is shaken, and you can't use your powers for a total of one round. Well, that was really clutch. All right. So we are going to shaken you. You cannot use your powers next round, but you can after that. So that's the siphoning. That's how it works. That was actually, you got off pretty light on that. Yeah, that was nothing compared to what it could <laughs> That was, yeah, that was good. Okay, Odd. Let's see. Let's go to Odd. Odd is going to move up. She's going to put herself between you and that Fury Mercy, and she is going to attack it. Gosh, what a horrible miss. All right, so this fury is not shaken anymore. It turns towards Odd. It is berserking, and it claws her, and it actually gets a raise. Wow. Odd is going to take a little bit of damage. She's going to take seven. She's shaken, but I will go ahead and get rid of it with a DM Benny. A GM Benny. So I've got three more left. I got two because of her, too. I forgot to add those in. All right, Lady Matilda. This is a really hard fight. This is... I don't use my fingers know. cheating my dagger and pulling my bow from the back of my very elfly dress. Like shooting past her jackals back into her... I can't have been the only one to notice the fireball. I can't understand. I'm sorry about that. I just I put it in have, chat so you can I read can't have been, Yeah, I can't have been the only one to notice that fireball. And I think, I don't, do I have a clear line of shot on the period uh, number three? Uh, if you want to move to get into if you're going to attack from right there it'll be in a minus two because you got you've got uh, Fargus in the way but if you want to move to get into a clean line of sight then you won't have any negative modifier Fargus is ugly bug is in the way <laughs> <laughs> she only sees my tightly clenched butt cheeks I was going to say I think <laughs> she's looking past that though for the for the tightly clenched butt though all right, so Matilda strafes over to the left, and she fires. Yeah, sometimes I can't understand what Matilda's saying. I think it's I think I'm not just used to hearing uh, a voice. Is that a minus two because I actually just uh, pulled my bow out? No, there's no minus. Yeah, yeah. If if you're switching weapons, and yes, it would be a a minus two because you're going from your dagger to your to your bow. And now you're shooting, so you're getting the multi-action penalty, which doesn't matter anyway, because you hit that thing with a raise. It's like so shooting Womp Rats back home with my key six. <laughs> oh, hey now. So now you'll roll damage. Oh my gosh, very nice. 17. So that thing takes a couple of wounds, and that thing is incapacitated. So Fury number three is dead. Blood splatters are OP. All right. Good shot, Matilda. Let's go to Fargus. All right. I'm going to move up behind Fury number one. Okay. And attack it. That's a hit with a raise. Very nice. Ooh, two wounds. 
Wow, you guys are you guys are crushing these things now. Very nice. Yacht, you've got a Benny, bud. Old Omi, Omi Barton, he bought you a Benny. So I'm going to put the Benny into your character sheet. So there you go. You got a Benny. Compliments of Omi Barton. Very good dragon bait. Yeah. MVP. Thanks. So he attacks this thing and misses. He's ro you're rolling good, but unfortunately, man, that those wounds that that minus it, that that's huge in Savage Worlds, man. Any plus or minus is huge in Savage Worlds. Yeah, too bad the healer goes last. I would help you up for that. <laughs> All right, so the fury is no longer shaken. Mm, who who should I attack? Should I tr should I go for blood and try to take Yacht out or? Should I go for the Shaken Mage, or should I go for Fargus? I, I think I'll I'll let the die, and in fact, I think I will. I'll do one, two, Fargus, three, four, Godfrey, five, six, Yacht. Four, Let's see what it takes. Oh gosh, it's going for Yacht. This thing smells the blood that's literally squirting out of Yacht. So this thing is gonna. Is gonna attack. This thing, this thing. <laughs> it's all down to attrition. Even it though. is. Oh god, <laughs> look at that. Oh, with the right. Oh come on. Oh, unbelievable. Ah, oh, what a prick, man. Unbelievable. <laughs> GM's a dick. Uh, eight. All right. So you're only shaken. So do you want to use your last bend of the year that shaken? Uh, Oh man, let the dice fall where they may, huh? In fact, in fact, you can keep your Benny, and I'm going to use my Benny. I'll use one of my DM Bennies, and I'll get rid of your shaking for you. Because that was just the bad luck of the dice roll there. Oh. All right, Mercy, what say you? You're at two wounds. Well, I'm going to attempt to... Oh, my God. That's going to be a negative five. Yeah, because you take your your uh, wounds and his wounds into consideration. Golly. Eh. You got Benny's to re-roll? You know... All right. Strategically, the wise choice would be to try to heal my wounds first. So I'm going to do that. All right, minus two. Good luck. I hope you get a raise. That'll get rid of both of your wounds. If I'm not mistaken, this is the only time. No, you can continue to do that. Oh, boy. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You botched could, that. Could you imagine that at a minus five? Oh, that would just be <laughs> brutal. <laughs> that would be brutal, yeah. Would um, that have killed me? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, it look at that. Too, right? Mercy. I, I'm going to. Look at what, that. What Everybody gets a Benny. Look at that. Joker's oh, Wild. Sweet. New round. Yeah. Sweet. Wow. Where's my Benny? You giving it to me? Or? Yep. Easy. Okay. Slow down there, killer. So. <laughs> wow. I never. All right. I'm going to take advantage of that and do what I was doing again. And hopefully it doesn't. Uh, in this poorly. Oh, that's a raise. Wow, that is a, that is a, it got rid of the minus two. Nice. So I've that's got a list wounds, of, I got a list of stuff that I'm going to write down on the, on the forms. All right, very nice. So you have no wounds now. Yeah, wait, wait, wait to go, um, Joker. Yeah. yeah, Joker helped you out big time. So Fargus, you're up. This Fury is still here. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and swing at Fury number two. All right. 
That's a mess. <laughs> I'm going to use my Benny. All right. Ooh. Go hit now. Oh, oh you he just, misses. You ought to oh. stay out of trouble. I mean, you can't do anything, yeah, but, you know. That's all whatever. I can do. Right, right yeah, you can't move or anything. Yacht? Don't die, Yacht. Yacht's at three wounds. I'm trying to remember how uh, it works. If I, What does it give me if I do defensive stance? It gives you plus two to your parry. I'll do that. Do okay. it, yeah. All right. Sounds good. Odd is, Hang in there, buddy. I got you. Uh, Odd is going to move up and attack with her staff. Oh, look at that. She hit. Wow, the first time she's hit. Yeah. Unharm, though. No, nope, didn't do anything. So this thing is going to turn towards her now because she just hit it. And this thing's going to try to rip her. Miss Godfrey, you can attack, but you cannot cast because you are suffering from the siphon right now. Now am I still shaking? You are still shaking, yeah. So if you want to spend a Benny, you can. Look at Matilda hoarding all the Bennies over there. She's got four of them. All right, so he's going to get rid of that shake in status. I try to hit it with my mace. Did you have your mace out already? Or are you pulling it out? Yeah, I always okay. have it out just because okay. it's the only weapon I have. All right, go ahead and attack. He walks around town saying, hey, this is my mace. Look at it. <laughs> yeah, that's a hit. <laughs> oh, wow. That Boom. Wow, that's three wounds. That's That thing is dead. Yeah, fuck that. Or wait, hold on. That was the wrong dice. That was the bolt that you put in there. Oh, what? That's, nah, that's okay. It's dead. Yeah, it's dead. Right. Fuck it. All right, so you guys are out of combat. And odd. She says, uh, I, I, I'm so sorry that, that I brought all of you into this. Uh, she says, yes, I, a couple of weeks back, uh, we were attacked and everyone died around me, even Hans. His name was Hans and he was from Franz. Which is which is way to the south of here, by the way. <laughs> you fool! They'll just keep <laughs> coming after you. Well, I don't want that to happen, and I should probably go back to Oslov and go to the temple and start to repent. Because if I don't, <laughs> uh, I don't want to end up dead. I know he's in front you. I'm sorry. Would now, would now be an inappropriate time to uh, ask Odd whether he has any silk for sale? Because I do need to wash my clothes. Uh, silk? No, I, I, I only have, I only have herbs, darling. I don't have any kind what? of materials soap? or anything like. That. Oh, soap? I, I think I might have a little bit of soap in there. I'm sorry, I thought you said silk. But yes, oh, I, I have a little bit here. And she gets a bucket out for you as well. Okay, well, I'm going to attempt to heal Yacht. Anyway, here's a <laughs> healing Healing, coming. healing, healing. All right. I would say, you know, once you're... Oh, that's two wounds. Yeah. I, I would say bad. you could you can do that once out of out of combat to kind of go around the rule of just continually blasting spells off until you're successful, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Yo, I guess we need to decide on something like that because I mean, I mean if I took the healing skill, that's just one skill. I mean, you only get I mean, they're very clear about it. You only get one chance. Yeah. But with the spell, you can they don't they don't say anything about it. You can cast a spell all day long if you want. Yeah. That's the 
That's the. I thing. mean, that's that. I mean, that gives the clerk the upper hand, in a way. Yeah, but then it then it eliminates natural healing, which what what they want, natural healing yeah. every five yeah. days. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe you want a house rule on like so many, so many turns, like maybe only three. Well, healing's three only within, supposed to work three within an hour, I guess. Yeah, healing's only supposed to work within a golden hour, anyway. Yeah, you only get is, I split them one hour, one hour. Yeah, but you, I mean, how many spells can you really rip off in an hour? I mean, you can literally theoretically a hundred spells. I mean, yeah, you. I mean, you could cast your ass off for an hour, and everybody would be fine. Yeah, it's 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 something I did look at and tried to find if you know what the deal is, but they just didn't cover it. That's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah. But if you had well, spell points, then it would be okay. Because yeah. you would just eventually run out of spell points. Run out of spell, spell points. points, and then yeah. I have to rest for a while to get my spell points back. But in Hellfrost, you don't get spell points. Yep. That's why they have the siphoning and, you know, sins. I would have rather just seen the siphoning for clerics, too. You know what I mean? That's what I. That's instead of sins, I would have just rather seen that. Yep. Yep. Odd. Odd will want to go. She wants to go back to Oslov. She wants to take care of starting to, you know, repent and try to get back into the good graces of Ira. Even though she just kind of cursed her and stuff. Yeah, good luck on that. Hopefully you don't die before you get to Oslo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sins can be, they can be reversed, though. You know, you know the, the whole thing that, and you being a, a, a priestess of Era, she said that this happened, what, two weeks ago? And she's been ignoring it the whole time? So you figure that's that's probably why she these furies these assassins of Ira were sent out for. Her. So, you know, if she would have repented, then she'd probably already have her powers back. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But she ignored it. So, so she said she's going to go back to Oslov. They have a temple of Ira there. Ira, Vira. Ira. And Riera. <laughs> I can't roll those goddamn Mars. All right, so she's going to head back there. She, you know, in Florida, you should be able to roll Mars with all uh, the Cubans around. Yeah, but I'm I'm in Central Florida. I'm not in Miami or Orlando, so. It's all the same thing. It's just a big penis. Pretty much. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. She's going to head out. She's going to thank all of you. And she asks if there's anything that can help you on your journeys to find this tall, skinny man with a beautiful, glorious-looking beard. And she says, maybe our paths will will cross again. Oh, my God, I hope not. But you've you've been to that temple at, at Oslov, though. You've been there before. Mercy. Okay. But you think, Merciful you know, daughter of Ira. If she, who is this she, Mercy you speak of? <laughs> well, she's the goddess of healing. She's merciful. Odd will be able to work her way back into the good graces of, of the deity. She's just gonna have to be patient. Is this the one we uh, we left the baby with? That's the same temple. No. Thank God. That was an mm -hmm. Estra. Oh, okay. That was a yeah, yeah, that was a priest of Estra. Yeah, that was at uh Dull Sutter. An inferior priestess, but still. Oh shut <laughs> fire. <laughs> shut. That was a lot more I mean she better than this odd dude chick though. Oh, shots fired, man. actually the the uh, the water or the um the following of Ira are not so happy with uh, Istra. They they don't um, accept them so much because they're practicing healing without following the the, the teachings of Ira, which are the sisters of mercy. Istra is the patron of all. 
<laughs> oh, here we go. Whatever that thing just said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, all right, adventurers. Is there anything that can aid you on your journey? She's offering everybody a a potion of their choice or a salve or some type of of mixture. Uh, yeah, could use some potion of healing or a herb of some sort. Okay. You can go to the mundane items in the equipment section and you can scroll down to herbalism. And there are a bunch of different different uh, stimulants and healing potions and regenerative stuff. Everybody can choose one of those. And all you do is you just drag and drop it onto your character sheet. I know that will work. <laughs> so there's all <laughs> kinds of stuff. Antibacterial yuck, stuff. Yuck you get some healing herbs. I don't know what that means. I think Yacht did a, a check earlier on, didn't you, Yacht? For what? Didn't you get herbs somehow? Yeah, I bought some when we started. Sure. So they just increase your healing um, over time sort of thing, right? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of different uh, healing herbs. And I was thinking about creating like a homebrew one too. So this, the, the regenerative one, it helps you after 40. It, you can actually, instead of waiting like five days, you will do a roll after two days instead. So that's, that's pretty cool, the regenerative. And then there's a, like a specific type of healing as well, which this is for all kinds of you know burns or freezer burn or slashing attack or... It has to have some type of, I guess, more defined type of healing that it would be. It's just not a, like a potion from a D20 game where it's just a healing potion, bam. You know, basically it's a, the remedy grants a plus one bonus to cure physical damage of a specific sort, such as burns, cuts, or breakages. The remedy grants plus one to healing rolls to treat such injuries. Only one dose may be used per injury if a dose is used every day for four days. The patient gains plus one to his natural healing roll also. So it's not like a healing potion where you just drink it and bam, you get a you know, a wound taken away. What was that, Matilda? I think we need to steady hand uh, for help with healing. Uh, father did uh, hire me a tutor back in Teluria, and I do have some very basic healing uh, skill and knowledge. Yeah, anyone who has a healing skill is anyone can try healing. Even if they don't have the skill, healing skill, they can use, say, unskilled. So each person can try to heal Yacht if they want. Yeah, to try oh. to get rid of that last wound, yeah. Yep. Oh, I, I'll try it, too. All the, all the Dr. Kevorkians are breaking out their rusty <laughs> well, well, medical well, kits now. What you look at it is like, you know, everyone's got some healing bandages or I'm going to pass around some healing bandages. Whoever has yeah. them kind of passes them around and say, hey, <laughs> you give it a shot. I'm not able to stop the bleeding or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, for your herbs, Yacht, she'll give you one extra potion of your choice for those, for those herbs. How about that? Uh, Matilda just healed his last one, and another if if it were the case. Yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, I, so might, nice I might have gave him another one. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait to go. Um, what yeah, they call Matilda. Him? Yeah. Ace. Yeah. Yeah. Very nice. So yacht, you have no he's more done. wounds. He's good. Yeah, he's good. Everybody's good. Everybody's healed up. So yacht, with those herbs that you have, you can choose two. You can choose two of the alchemy potions well the herbalism potions and everybody else can choose one but if you have any kind of herbs in your inventory then you can turn those in and get an extra herbalism recipe now is there any like residue or anything left from these creatures we just killed actually as you 
are kind of talking with Odd and whatnot, these things just kind of disappear over time. Okay. Kind of like fade into the ground, like in an MMO. You know how you kill things and then they kind of just <laughs> lower down into the ground. They just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> no, but th those were basically like a divine being. So, you know. I like, I like how you put that. Some essences, like divine essence. We could have sold them for like a hundred gold pieces. Maybe some, maybe some astral diamonds from fourth edition. Yeah, astral diamonds. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, all the old astral diamonds from uh, Neverwinter Online. I'd kind of like to try that game again. I haven't played it in oh, years. Oh, please. Remember how Careful. I. Careful. Every day for the first three years that game was open. Remember how I invoked yeah, you kept, every. Uh, pr um, I was consistent with that. Well, well, I got us all angels. I got us all angels, though. Those healing yeah. angels. Yeah, I gave everybody some. <clears throat> all right, adventurers. Odd, she finishes uh, getting everybody their herbalism items that they would like. And she f yeah, I stack up on the all the herbs that I want, right? Yep. So we're good there. She gets her horse all saddled up uh, to the to the wagon, and she tells you that to uh, thank you for enlightening her, both to Matilda and Mercy, and to the rest of you for helping her. She said she is going to. Head back to Oslov and start her uh, repent. And she's going to throw in a good word for you as well. Hopefully, the deity, the patron deity of healing, will not send more after you as well. Um, excuse me? I don't think I have to worry about that. <laughs> However, you should probably keep clear of other people so that your sinful little assassins don't involve any other people, innocent people, I should <sighs> add. Uh, so yes, I'm, be careful. I I am on my way to to Oslov now, and she tells the horse, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, mule." And I she am takes a true off merciful she, daughter of Ira. I am without sin. <laughs> she turns the wagon around and heads right back out the way that you guys came in. Nice, uh, nice job! <laughs> God, wow. Nice job on that, everybody. How you guys. She mentioned me in this. Yeah. Oh, you guys were outnumbered. Wow. You guys were outnumbered. What? Uh, twelve to twelve to six. You really can't count her. I mean, she was absolutely no use at she all. She was the cause of it all. The bitch. Yeah, I know. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, and thanks to Dragon Maid. I kept up. All right, let's say you adventures. You guys want to head to uh, head to this tower, right? Yeah, I guess we want yeah. to continue heading northeast, right, guys? Yeah, yeah. continue on. Yeah, this little teaser along the way was um, a lot of trouble. So off into the distance, probably about a hundred i'd say a little bit over a hundred yards you guys follow the follow the location on the map you have no other no other encounters along the way now matilda you have your your mule with you correct uh, i knew her fart earlier was that what happened uh, yeah he's a little flashing but he's such a great uh you know company he's such a good companion he's really a good guy do you say he farted? I didn't understand that. I don't mean to be abrupt. But yeah, her, yeah her, was... ass, her ass is gassy. <laughs> <laughs> her ass is farted. Uh -huh. <laughs> Great. <laughs> so sitting on top of a low, flat hill, that's my hillbilly language there. Right on, go for it. Yeah, you, you can actually see that there's a an old, broken tower. Looks like a Looks like a little miniature castle sitting on top of this hill. It's in ruin for sure. And you're about 
you're about 100 yards away. Now, why don't you guys give me a notice check, whoever's kind of looking in that, in that general direction. Thanks for the follows, everybody. <clears throat> Yacht. You can see a couple of orcs that are patrolling on like a rampart because there is like a about a 20 foot high wall and you can see heads going between the the blocks and you can discern that they look like orcs you see two of them they don't seem to uh have spotted you guys but you guys are off like i said about a hundred yards away and this small little keep that's in ruin is it's in bad shape are there trees and stuff in the area oh absolutely there's a bunch of trees that's where you guys are kind of hidden in the trees that's why they don't see you i pull out my bow <clears throat> let everybody know what i saw and try to stealth okay so you can get up to with the prowess that you have and with matilda with her with her skills of, at archery as well you would think that you could probably get to about the 50 yard mark because then it starts to open up where this hill is kind of in the opening and then you would have to be a little bit more stealthy but you up to about the 50 yard mark you don't even really just as long as you're using the trees for cover you know that you'll be fine but anything closer than that then you're going to have to make a run across an open area because this this uh keep that's in ruin is up on a on a small flat hill there's a little bit of debris though there's some you know some larger rocks and stuff you could probably use to your advantage then there's a bunch of rubble around the around the uh, the castle as well or you could probably wait until dark which is going to be in a couple hours anyway and you may be able to storm this thing under the the cover of night but from what you see which would have been yacht you can see you can see two orcs that's all you see well this this princess of era will defer to those best suited for this sort of situation so she's just gonna hang it back Here's Rachel. Also, what's up matilda i also prefer to avoid conflict if possible i like the idea of going in at night you got a couple of hours <clears throat> all right so if you guys want to wait for a couple of hours it'll be it'll be uneventful now what do you guys want to do during these couple of hours that you're waiting for the sun to go down is there anything in particular that you want to do i'm gonna eat some herbs all right everybody every everybody also deduct while you're waiting everybody kind of gets a little bit of rest and relaxation relaxation why don't you guys everybody deduct one ration from your from your character sheet those right, uh done. never changing rations that are on every player's character sheet what about all those rats we could have ate you, oh, I, would, <laughs> you ra it, would you rather would you anybody kidding. a cook anybody got the cooking feet is there i'm sure there's a cooking feet you can make, no, like, that's what i assume we've been eating for a while because we've been in Donruss, we've been in Dothsether, and now rats, rats and yeah. orcs. Yeah. <laughs> now we're out in the wilderness, so yeah. Yeah, definitely a ration. Yeah, definitely a ration. Yeah. Well, actually the the baker kind of we'll even say the baker gave you guys a couple loaves of bread also. So, you guys actually had some rations with some with some nice fresh bread. So is anybody else doing anything else as you guys are waiting for the sun to go down besides eating anything? 
anything? Maybe watching the orcs? Maybe. Yeah, actually, uh, I go to, uh, to Grazer and he's got a backpack and I pull out a, a pipe. And I've got a pouch with five scoops in it and I, like, I put some tobacco in my pipe. You know, and I, I offer to anyone if they'd like to, to take a puff. Oh, it's time to get high. Time to get high before you charge into the tower and kill the orcs. I love I, it. I question what do you have in this? What is this? What is what? What, what do you have? What is what are you passing around? What is going? I'll test it for you, Mercy. Oh, there's no abuse potential. It's just tobacco. No, oh, never mind. <laughs> Mercy says, "Oh, that's boring." <laughs> <laughs> I love the nice long yawn. <laughs> oh, oh, never mind. I pull out a nice like little book I've been reading. Pipe weed, though, yeah. Matilda, that, that, wow. The elf, the female elf breaking out a pipe and smoking. Nice. She's blowing smoke rings. All right, adventurers. The sun goes down. The sun goes down. The moon is in the sky. The stars are out. You can hear a wolf howling once in a while. A couple of the windows inside of the own old ruined castle. You can see the flicker of flame shining through the windows. So there's definitely activity inside of this old ruined castle that's sitting on the top of the low flat hill. What say you adventurers? What say you? Wait, what's the, what's there now? What happened? <laughs> Mercy, you are so high. <laughs> I said you could, you could see that there's activity in the old ruined fort sitting on the hill because there it appears to be maybe a couple of small campfires that are burning inside of it because you can see the light flickering in the windows oh okay yeah yeah she didn't care she just uh continues eating some her, her herbs oh, you're blowing through those like big time yeah yeah uh, uh i hooked a hooked a hooked a hooked a lady up yeah. I could hear so many other words there. I chose that one. <laughs> the temperature is starting to go down as well, so it's getting a little bit a little bit cooler now. Especially with winter approaching in the next couple of months. I say are we are we ready to go in? Yep, I'm ready to go in. Let's just go through the front door. Works for me. <laughs> All right. So everybody, why don't you give me a why don't everybody give me some stealth checks? Ooh. In fact, why don't we do a stealth? What's that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, nice roll. Oh shit, I passed it. Wow. <laughs> Not too bad. Everybody had some great roles. Now, when, when you guys are getting up to, as you guys are, you know, using all of the the rocks and the other debris from the rooms Also, Dave, Dave to I'm, your sorry. Event. I'm, I'm sorry yes. to interrupt you. You Go might ahead. want to get rid of the combat tracker. I'm getting plus two on everything. Because of my joker. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. Well, look at that. Another joker. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Godfrey with a joker. Wow. Holy shit. Jesus. <laughs> okay, there we go. We're getting all these bennies, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are taking advantage of the, the cover of night, and you're bobbing and weaving all throughout the, the rune the debris taking you know taking advantage of cover and zigzagging all around and you get up to the base of the wall of this castle and 
there is a a door and it's a a double door and just as because the door is kind of barely cracked open and you can see inside of it and you can see this uh, sort of like a like a courtyard inside so who's 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 first by the way who's who's going in first i would imagine one of the dwarves maybe not me yeah i'll go in first and i'll have my axe out that would be fargus all right so fargus you're you're moving in and guess what fargus with your untrained stealth skill you trip and make a lot of noise <laughs> You know, you, all that heavy armor that's clanking around. That I and then, don't wear. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you, what are you wearing for, for armor, then? I don't think I'm wearing any armor. Okay, then you fall into the wall, and your weapon scrapes the, the wall of the keep. <laughs> and it kind of echoes throughout the courtyard. And then you hear a voice that says, Hey, knucklehead! Go out there and check to see what that noise was. And then you hear a couple of orcish grunts say, Okay, boss. And what, you can what hear... What It's in common. Oh. What? Never mind. Yeah. I can speak orc anyway. Yeah, me too, but still. It's kind of a... It's, it's a mix between orc and, and common. A couple of orcs say, okay... And orcish, but the the main person that said, "Go <laughs> see what's going on out there." Yeah. <laughs> so that's that's where we're going to end for tonight because just as you're picking yourself up from the ground, Fargus, the door swings open, and a couple of orcs are standing in front of you, and we will go to drawing cards as we play next week.